Hey there, happy Monday. Excited to have you with me live today. I am excited to share with you how do I still succeed when my life is a mess? <laughs> That's our topic for today and I'm so curious who struggles with a messy life. Uh, so many people. I would say probably everyone who watches this video. Um, so let's see here. Oh, you guys, my messy backdrop. I didn't even get a chance to iron my backdrop, but it's here and you get to see how cute it is. <laughs> and I showed up too, even though my life is the best. So what do I do? How do I get through every day and still be successful? Well, I have some tricks that I wanna share with you and I have a giveaway as well. Do I look green to you? Comment below because I don't even know if Facebook is connecting today. Hello, hello. <laughs> if, you're, if you are here and you're watching the replay, type replay. And if you're excited to learn about these tips for success despite the messiness of life, go ahead and type hashtag I am here <laughs> because whatever you're telling yourself with the I am is what you'll create. So if you tell yourself I am a mess, guess what? you get messier. If you tell yourself, I am stupid, you'll act stupid. If you tell yourself, I am not pretty, I am not talented enough, I can't speak in front of people, I can't go live, whatever you're saying to yourself is what you will create. So how do you get around that? By deciding, I'm gonna rewire some of what I'm telling myself in my subconscious brain. And that starts with defining a mission statement for you. What are you about? Why are you here? Why are you on this planet? Why are you passionate about what you're passionate about? Also, is this clicking? This might be clicking. I'm gonna go ahead and, un and um, take these earrings out because I think that it's clicking my, my um, little headset. So you all, what I've learned is what you think about will come about. What you focus on grows. Type those in the comments. What you focus on grows. And this is an important thing to realize because if you're focused on how messy life is and you're telling yourself, I just need to get through the holidays. Who has said that recently? I need to just get through Christmas. <laughs> uh, we're, we're changing the perspective on the experience. And the wind will blow. You cannot change the direction of the wind, but you can adjust the direction of your sail. Right, so what does that mean? That means how do you show up in adversity or challenge or stress? How do you show up? So who watching has had a little meltdown recently because you felt like you were behind, you felt like everyone was coming over and your house was a mess, you didn't have your presents wrapped, you didn't purchase a gift for auntie whoever. I mean, think about that. And you're telling, you're telling yourself these stories about how frustrated and stressed you are. But like I told my husband last night, everything that's happening in our lives, we have played a role in choosing. So rather than saying, I'm so stressed and freaking out over all this, why don't we instead say, I have chosen X, Y, Z, and I am so happy and grateful to have so many options. Do you see how that changes things? That helps you to anchor in into who you are. And it, when you breathe deeply as you change that narrative in your head, that story in your head, you'll notice that you'll feel more peaceful and calm. Click the share button, invite some people that you know have been freaking and stressing out and you've seen them posting about it on their Facebook, right? Again, they are attracting it to them when they post about it. Like any frustration that you have, that you're commiserating with somebody else or you're posting it on Facebook hoping that somebody else is relating to you, you're creating more of it. So do you see this? So instead say, I have played a role in choosing XYZ and I am so happy and grateful for all of my choices or whatever XYZ. XYZ simply means whatever it is that you're facing that's challenging you right now. So type that in the comments. I am choosing how I show up in this situation. I am so happy and grateful, dot, dot, dot. The next thing I'm gonna challenge you to do is define a mission statement. What are you about? I'm about um, uplifting and inspiring people to create abundant wealth because that is what we were all designed for. We were designed to uplift and inspire others and in turn, the financial blessings rain down. So whether you're selling the Thrive Experience or you're selling makeup or you're selling jewelry, whatever it is that you sell, you are um, 
providing a solution for somebody on some level. And so when you name it and claim it and say, I was created to uplift and inspire people to live a, a life of financial abund abundance, right? Whenever, whatever it is that you are about your mission statement, then that will help you always recalibrate and align when you're faced with challenge and stress. And let's be honest, challenge and stress is part of your daily life. Comment below if using Facebook or Instagram or YouTube is part of building your business. And if it isn't, and you are building a business, I recommend that you begin using one of those platforms. So having a mission statement and knowing what you stand for and why you're here will help you show up on those platforms and be authentically you. So like I said earlier, my life is a mess, but yet I'm still able to create a multi-million dollar income. How? Because I plan for it, right? You guys, I can focus my brain on something for 25 minutes at a time. And then I can go back into my messy chaos, which is my personality. I'm looking around my office right now. We Granted, we are living under construction, remodeling, but I'm looking at the mess and I'm thinking to myself, I'm so happy and grateful that I have a mess like this, that I have this kind of abundance. Abundance in my life is evident in the mess that I have in my home because <laughs> I have so many options and people give me gifts all the time. People give me journals and books and jewelry and makeup. And I am so blessed by that. And then here's what I do though. This is my, 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 my problem that I need to, aha moment, start putting on my calendar. When people send me the gifts, I want to make a quick thank you video on my Instagram stories and um, tag them and let them know that I appreciate the thoughtfulness of their gift. I often will send a thank you note or flowers to the person who sends me gifts. So, um, But I want to step that up even another level and show that gratitude on my social media platforms. And for me though, in order to do that, I have to schedule it on my planner. Now that is my tip for you. So your life is a mess, right? Look at your day and decide when do you have the highest energy? Commit that time to showing up and doing the thing that moves your business forward. If you don't know what that thing is, then do a little digital detox, put the phone away, and write down all of the activities that move the needle on your business. Where do you get the most return for the time that you invest? That's where you need to spend the most of your time. Do you see? Also, who watching, again, who uses their phone or a computer to build their business? Comment below. Do you use your phone or computer to build your business? Thank you, Sarah. You love my new background. Notice the creases, it did not get ironed. <laughs> Oh well, um, and I am uh, showing up anyway. Even though I was five minutes late to doing this live stream today, I was like, I'm gonna use the new backdrop, even though it's not perfectly pressed. My other backdrop was uh, too dark, and so it would make me wash out, and then that was really hard for the lighting. Um, so that's why I used it anyway, because done is better than perfect, right? Move the needle on what matters. For me, what matters is showing up on live video. That's where I connect with my tribe. That's where I connect with my prospects. That's where I move the needle. So I want you to decide what is um, your mission statement, brainstorm the activities that move the needle on your business, the best return for the time that you are spending in your business. Where is that conversion for you? Where's that conversion? You've got to write it down. And then look at the different platforms that you are building. Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it YouTube? Pick one and master it. Don't go and throw spaghetti at the wall and hope something sticks and try and do all of them and do them poorly and inconsistently and get burnt out because you're not seeing results. Instead, decide to pick one. So for me, initially, that was YouTube. I started on YouTube. You can find my channel at elisetv.com. I have about 20. 2,500 subscribers and I've been building a YouTube channel for 10 years. 2,500 subscribers for 10 years is not a great return. It isn't. But part of the reason that is is because I had to delete my channel at one point and then start it over again and that's just no big deal. I was just getting threatened to be sued <laughs> because I had left a previous company. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I didn't go into um, shut down and overwhelm and freak out because I was being threatened to be sued by that company. I just said, okay, adjust my sales. 
I'll redo. Whatever. I am happy and grateful that I have options. I live in America and I can pretty much freaking do whatever I want, right? So don't get freaked out when you face adversity. Adjust the sail, right? The wind will blow. You can't change the direction of the wind, but you can change the direction of your sail. So I am so happy and grateful that whatever it is, okay? Change the narrative and the story that will change your energy, that will raise your vibration, we call it, when, you, when energetically you are attracting the positive good things into your life. That's where we experience abundance, right? And it's been written in the Bible, seek and ye shall find, knock and the door shall be open unto you. These are facts and I have experienced them in my life again and again. And whenever you face adversity, ask, what is the lesson I am meant to learn here? Okay. And you will face adversity in the coming weeks. Guaranteed. hundred percent. How will you show up in the challenge? It's your choice. You get to choose. Make the decision right now when you're feeling empowered watching this video and then you'll be ready. Whatever it is, you'll be ready. Okay, so um, I want you to also make the decision right now that persistence is going to be a theme for you in 2019. So write that down. I am persistent. I will persist until I succeed. I will persist until I succeed. I will persist until I succeed. You all, we have the same opportunity here in front of us. We all have access to the internet. We all have access to incredible products and business opportunities that are life-changing. There is no reason to stay stuck in a job that you hate, where you're not earning what you're worth, where you're afraid of where the next paycheck is coming in and how many bills it will cover. There's no reason to do that to yourself. You're choosing that to some degree. You're choosing that. We have seen over and over and over again that people can become millionaires on the internet in 12 months. We've seen it again and again and again. How do they do it? They have chosen resilience and persistency. They have chosen to acknowledge where the challenges are and to grow from them rather than to freak out, shut down, go into overwhelm and hide. Okay, so if you're finding that you're stuck in some part of your life that doesn't feel good or right to you, I want you to just to, to, to ask. I always, I, I just ask. You might ask the universe, you might ask God, you might ask your higher self. Just ask for the answers to be abundantly clear. Ask for the blocks to be removed. Ask for the negative thought patterns that you keep replaying in your mind that are creating the same gosh darn scenarios that are frustrating you in your life again and again. Ask for those to be shown to you so that you can learn and become a better version of yourself. As you become a better version of yourself, you will become more financially blessed. It is written in the word across so many different spiritual teachings throughout history. And if you don't believe me, get out there and study it and prove me wrong. I have said this again and again. Those who show up, go up. Why? Because they are willing to always be persistent. They are resilient. They are enjoying the journey. They're not just freaking out and going into shutdown. You guys, I have lived on public assistance twice in my life. Hello. I have been engaged to someone who is abusive. Hello. Again, so many reasons to give up. So many reasons to say, well, I guess that I'm just not meant to be successful. right? Amber, I love that you're on because you know what? Amber, have you ever seen Amber Ayton? I love her. She's in Prescott, Arizona. We lived in Prescott, Arizona, you all. After my husband finished going to PA school, we had $150,000 of debt, Amber, when I lived there. Did you know that? No, because I didn't share it. <laughs> but uh, Because I was embarrassed about it, to be honest. I felt like a fraud. Because here Rob had a great job, but we had so much debt. We were just literally drowning in debt. And I was selling jewelry. I was driving all over Arizona to sell jewelry, flying around the country to earn $300 a pop. That was, my, that was my income in my career at that time. And when I met Amber, you guys, I we literally were so scrimping by, so scrimping by. Like, yes, I would still shop at the organic food store, but I would buy, like, I wouldn't spend more than $30 per shopping trip. Like, I could feed my family like that. I mean, we weren't buying incredible things at that time, that's for sure. But they were organic. 
<laughs> and Amber, you have to go and look at my profile picture because it shows that photo of me in that picture. We were at the Grand Canyon and that was that Christmas of that year that we lived there in Prescott. And um, I, you guys, I didn't pay anyone to do my hair until four years ago. And so I would color my hair myself with box dye. And I remember going to Walmart. I bought that box dye. It was called like Golden Sunflower or something like that. And so all of my friends that are into doing hair or, you know, stylists, this, they're going to love this story. Um, so tag them. But so anyway, I was literally like so struggling financially that I wanted to color my hair and do a cute haircut. My mom was visiting, so she cut my hair. And she's not a professional stylist, but she would cut my hair whenever I see her because then, of course, I'm not paying anything. <laughs> and um, we, so we did that um, box dye. We go to the Grand Canyon for a Christmas experience, which I'll be honest, was incredible. We just drove up for the day and drove back. And then I had this experience of, uh, you know what? It is so funny because I'm looking, this is how hilarious that coloring was. It was so terrible. I'm looking at the new trim on my wall and it's like this orangish honey color. I'm gonna take a photo and put it in the comments after this or I'll put it in my Instagram stories. But um, essentially the hair color went orange, okay? Orange. But like I said, we didn't have the extra money. Like literally I would save up to buy these, the hair dye every once in a while. My roots would always grow out super dark and then the coloring would be orange and I wouldn't take pictures of myself. You guys, this is why I don't have any photos to show you from the years before Lavelle. I, I wouldn't take photos. I didn't like myself in pictures. And so here I was, um, I took this photo with Rob. My mom said, was like, we have to take your guys' this picture. We're at the Grand Canyon, there's snow. Like, um, it was beautiful, but I didn't feel beautiful. I just felt, I this is how ironic, you guys, ironic, the irony here. Louis Vuitton. Now, why is this connected? Well, this was the color of my hair. <laughs> why is this connected? Because I didn't ever have any Louis Vuitton until recently. And um, my really good friend, Sheila, sent me a Louis Vuitton gift for Christmas. Like, what is this life? This life is something that I envisioned. This life is something that I manifested because I would literally drive around in Prescott, Amber, I love you, I'm so glad you're on fortuitous here, divine timing. I would drive around in Prescott and I would envision these beautiful homes that had these beautiful outdoor living spaces and I would imagine that that would be a home that I would someday have for my family. Literally, this was what I would do and um, it's kind of crazy to me because here it is, like five years later, you all, my life is 100% different. In a sense, I'm the same. However, when I look around my home right now, all the clothes in my closet, they're new. Like I, I got rid of all of my hand-me-downs once I started to make good money because I had been shopping at Goodwill and the Salvation Army and the sale rack at Old Navy all my adult life and I wanted to up level my wardrobe. <laughs> so I donated these things. And so anyway, I'm just sharing this because I think it's important. You can have a messy life and yet still create the life of your dreams, but you've gotta make the decision that you will persist, that you will show up consistently that you will master your skill and your craft. So like I said, pick it, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you choose. Where is your effort going to make the best return for you? Choose a platform and master it. Then choose the next one and master it, okay? So I chose Instagram last March. I remember I messaged Blair and Carmel, tag them in the, in the comments for me. I uh, messaged them and I said, oh, and Wendy. <laughs> I messaged them and I said, I'm gonna master Instagram. It's time for me to do that. I'm going to master Instagram. So yes, now I'm up to almost 12,000 followers on Instagram and I do stories every day. It's super fun. But I had to make the decision and then I had to schedule it. That's my tip is you've got to make the decision, name it and claim it. For example, I told my closest business besties and then I got into action. I learned it. I studied. I watched what other people were doing. I watched free trainings on YouTube. Um, I hired help. 
right? I networked with people that I knew understood Instagram. I got with them and had them help me. Um, and then, so our next step is persistence, right? I'm gonna read you this quick quote. This is by Ogmandino, and he says, nor will I allow yesterday's success to lull, lull me in today's complacency, for this is the great foundation of failure. I will forget the happenings of the day that is gone, whether they were good or bad, and greet the new sun with confidence that this will be the best day of my life. Notice the choice right there. This will be the best day of my life. So as long as there is breath in me, that long I will persist. For now I know one of the greatest principles of success. For if I persist long enough, I will win. Do you notice the language, the choice of language? I will win. Name it and claim it. That's what's happening in that quote. That's why Ogmandino, I love that quote. Then as you're considering, okay, today's the day, what am I gonna do? Well, get, you have to get organized, right? It starts with being organized and writing down your intention, writing down what you're gonna do, set your timer so that you do it and you don't get distracted. Because here's another little side note that you may have not figured out, <laughs> but I bet you have, is YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, all three and other platforms, of course, they're all what is called monetized. They are a huge profit-producing engine. The more of your attention that those platforms capture, the more revenue they create and produce for themselves and for obviously the companies that run the ads. So ask yourself over the next week, when I pick up my phone, am I picking up my phone to improve myself through personal development, education? Am I creating content for my prospects? Ask yourself that question. Am I picking up the phone and creating or improving my personal development education, or am I consuming? <laughs> because if, they, if you're just going on and scrolling the news feeds, and you're trying to figure out, well, what is Carrie over here doing, or what is Amber over there doing? Um, if you're just doing that and comparing, well then what's gonna happen is, they are monetizing your attention because where your focus goes, energy flows. If you're not intentional when you pick up that phone or, or turn on that laptop, then guess what? Those companies spend millions and, okay, billions, probably trillions of dollars to figure out the way to capture your attention. And when they do that, they make big bucks. So turn the beast around and turn it into your favor and realize that your phone and these apps were created to get you to spend your time, attention, your money, okay? so. Be intentional when you turn on the, those apps and decide how you're going to show up because if you do go on there without the intention of uh, falling prey, sorry, my lips are dry. <laughs> without the intention of falling prey to other people's ads, then you're probably going to get distracted and purchase things you don't need. That's just a fact. We know this and psychology tells us that. So where your attention goes, energy flows. Remember, energy is also money. Money is energy. So you want to make more money, then you need to focus your attention, that energy. Anyone have any questions on that? I'll do a QA. and a If you want to ask me about manifesting millions or creating financial freedom or whatever it is that you want to ask me, I don't care. You can ask me anything. Pop over to my Instagram after this video. I'll post one of those question and answer things and you guys can ask me any questions. Of course, you can also ask them in the comments, but I want more people with me on Instagram because that's where I've been having tons of fun. Um, so, ah. I got it, I got it. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, phooey. Um, okay, I'm gonna give away one of these planners. I was cleaning my closet and I found three of these planners in my closet. It's called the High Achievers Playbook. And this is for network marketers. It's for anyone in any network marketing business. But essentially, it's pretty cool because you have motivating quotes, you have Make it happen today, so outlines of how you could build the business. I'm gonna give one of these away, so whoever comments and shares, likes the video, uh, you'll be entered to win the High Achievers Playbook. 
it's super good be mailing this out right after the new year so you can start the new year with a bang and this is this really isn't a planner in the sense that you are it's not a calendar type of planner but it is a planner that you can keep track of people that you're visiting with talking to your follow-up your to-do list your to do and your personal business your or sorry personal life and your business um, as well as uh, a tracker for I accomplished the following um, little place to keep notes how many glasses of water did you drink and your workout minutes it's pretty cool the way that this is so yeah click the share button click shared type replay whatever it is you know um, like comment share you'll be entered to win this high achievers playbook I'm going to let this uh, this contest run a few days and I might probably I'll probably do another video on it because honestly I forgot to announce <laughs> at the beginning that we were gonna do a giveaway and that's one of the things that I've learned is you have to give people a hook in the video so that they stay and watch oh who has been on with me the whole video I'm so curious some of you have um, I love visiting with you guys and I could just talk and talk so also here's the other thing if you're not in my women's networking group it's for women in business online entrepreneurs that are committed to creating the most incredible life for themselves as well as uplifting and inspiring others self-love self-care really owning who you are and loving who you are and it's called the heart to heart tribe um, well, currently it's called Heart to Heart Network because we haven't been able to change the name according to Facebook. <laughs> but if you want to be join, joining the Heart to Heart, just hashtag Heart to Heart. And it's Heart number two Heart, and we will add you to that. Okay? Yay! Excited to see you there. And we're doing lots of lessons and trainings over the next couple of weeks on planning for success going into 2019. Um, for how to prioritize self-care above all else and why that is not selfish and how you will show up the best version of you when you do and of course we have a special Instagram training Instagram 101 that we will be teaching in that group in 2019 excited to see you there okay thanks for tuning in today I'm excited to see who wins this high achievers playbook and um, if I add you to my heart-to-heart -heart group you've got to got to got to comment on the most recent posts because that is how um, we're going to be able to uplift and inspire each other. Here's what I believe, that as a tribe, we are stronger. Together, we are greater. And honestly, I don't care which company you're in. It really does not bother me because I know the more women that are succeeding, the lighter we um, shine, the more love we bring to the world, right? And so I want you all to be interactive if you're going to join the group. If you're going to just join the group and not be interactive, then don't join. <laughs> but I want you to join if you're going to interact. And if you have something to teach, I'm going to invite you to teach it in the group. So anyway, that's just kind of my, my, my side thing. I've been, I have had this group going for years, but we are just resurrecting it in 2019 and I'm bringing in some of my influencers to teach you as well. So I'm excited for you all to see that. So hopefully we'll see you there. Hopefully you'll click the share button on this video and help more people enter to win the High Achievers Playbook as well as learn my tips on how to succeed even when you have a messy life. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and a merry, merry Christmas. Take care.